Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm really excited to be here, not just because it's game three of the NBA Finals, but because I get to walk you through this brand new 2024 Newmar Ventana. This is their brand new floor plan. It's the 3512. It's got a couple really cool features, two in particular that I really like. Uh, if you have kids or company coming with you, I think you're gonna enjoy it as well. So uh, we're gonna start up here in the front. You can see the beautiful paint job. We've got our two Nova Girard awnings. So this is the Stroud exterior color. This was equipped with the 360 camera view. The new floor plan now has 380 horsepower versus the 360 that you had last year's uh, 34 foot model. So increase in horsepower, torque is 1150. Uh, like I said, we've got 360 camera view. We have the on-guard collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control, all the cool features that you want in a coach. And it's only 35 foot, so you can get in all those national parks you want to go to. Down here, we're going to have our Alcoa aluminum wheels. These tires are 30570s, and they are 22 and a half inch wheels. We've got a 55 degree cut on the front. Um, Freightliner chassis, this does have 100, 100 gallons of fuel capacity and a 10 gallon def tank. So you can see we've got our window awning package on this coach. It's actually loaded with options. Let me pop this open. Front storage compartment there. You're going to get a lot of storage for a 35 foot coach. Here is our first pass through or our, our pass through storage on this one. Extra tiles, central vac uh, attachments down there as well. Nice little storage compartment to put some tools, maybe some oil, some fluids. Let me get these closed. Now you can see this outdoor TV and sound bar. If I was still here today at 6.30 when the game starts, I would put it on here, but we shut down at six, so I'll be at home in front of my TV. We have our security lights up top. Again, beautiful paint job. This Stroud paint job is awesome. Another storage compartment, light switch right here. Here are our two chassis batteries, disconnect, and our particulate filter for emissions. Also, you can see down here is our Oasis Reservoir. Like I said, this is a 380 horsepower Cummins now versus the 360. We're gonna have 10,000 pound towing. You've got your seven pin connector and then your airline for your tow vehicle. This is a rear radiator. As you can see here, we're gonna have our engine oil fill through here. It's kind of hard to see, but I've got the ladder on here uh, so that you can see this was equipped with the ladder so you can climb up there if you need to do any kind of maintenance work. Beautiful rear rear cap. I like the way they, I say it every time, but I love the way they hide everything that's up top there. You don't see the AC units. You don't see the satellite until it comes up. Just a nice, clean, classy look. Here in this back compartment, we're gonna have our block heater. Here is our surge, surge guard and transfer switch. Our power cord reel, this is a 50 amp. And you do have a cable inlet right here as well. Couple things you can see here, we have our sewer hose storage on the right, our 10 gallon def tank, 
and you can see we have our uh, hydraulic leveling system you can see the size of that jack down there get to your campsite hit auto level get the grill out and start actually the cooktop start cooking them burgers for the game all right here in our water bay you can see we have a really nice stainless steel backer full house uh, water filter system our water hose on a reel outdoor shower hot and cold you're going to have your gray and black tanks here or drains so you're going to want to run your sewer hose through there and open those valves remember to always do the black and then the gray to clean out that hose right here is our emergency escape door another camera for the 360 view Here's our Oasis hydronic heating and hot water system. Right. Here's that pass through storage. And of course our eight house batteries on a slide tray makes it really easy to pull those batteries out when it's time to change them. Again, right now we have all the, we have shade on this side, so it wouldn't be an issue, but if you're watching TV and you're getting some glare in, you can always pull down this window awning, it latches right here. This front compartment's gonna be your, it's gonna have all your fuses, some spare fuses here and this is where you open the front latch for the uh, hatch for the generator nice feature on this compartment is it's got the struts which is really cool you don't have to be fighting a little wand to hold it hold it open like you had to before we have our 8k onan generator we also have a light here, so if you're working on it at night, back here you're going to have your quick connect for an airline, your hot water tap, your, your uh, wake up the neighbor horns here, and your city horns up there. Actually, if you're at a park and you're watching the game tonight, when the Nuggets win, honk those air horns for me. Up here in the front, you can see we have our mobile eye. So this does have the collision mitigation package on it, adaptive cruise, lane keep assist. All of those really cool safety features that you want to have in a motorhome. We're going to have keyless entry and doorbell. Two steps and you are going to have storage under your steps here. Really nice spot to put in your tools. You know, anything you want to put in here that maybe gets the inside of the coach dirty so that you don't dirty it up. As we come in here on the passenger side, a couple things to point out. You do have your table here, so you can set up a laptop or if you're reading a book while you're driving. Um, here you have your wireless charging pad, your step cover, step cover button right here. Again, as you see, that comes up flush. If you've got pets, really nice feature to have. Also makes it more comfortable for the passenger. And then you're going to have a map light and a patio light here. I always get a nice 110 outlet right here in case you need to plug in your laptop. We have our wine guard over the air antenna. Light buttons and then uh, come on in, I'll close the door. All right, so the cool feature of this, this new floor plan, and people have been asking for it, we've been asking for it. Up until now, you could only get a gas Numar with an overhead bunk. Now you can get that in a diesel pusher. So you can get the overhead bunk now on the Ventana. This has a 500 pound capacity. It's super roomy up here. 
got lots of space. There's a ladder that's in the rear closet I'll show you that'll connect right here to help help you or your kiddos or just company hop up there. Again, that is really cool. I'm really excited about that feature because I get uh, requests all the time. But up until now, you can only get it in a base star. Now, this is actually the first 3512 floor plan to hit the ground uh, to be actually available to take home. So if you're interested in this, give me a call, shoot me an email, and I can answer any specific questions you have regarding pricing. Uh, but this is, like I said, the, the only one available at the moment. Uh, as we move back, you've got the theater seats, of course. Nice storage compartment. Back here, you're going to have your TV lift up and down. I've got the TV up right now. To pull it down, you just push the button. I tell you, I'm a big fan of the theater seats. Super comfortable. I mean, they're comfortable enough you can take a nap on these things. So if you got company with you, they always have a place they can sleep there. We have the overhead bunk. Your booth dinette also turns into a bed. Uh, so this will drop down, turn into a bed, so you have additional sleeping for, for one additional person or maybe two little ones. Storage under both of these booths. We're gonna have some overhead storage on both sides. As you can see we also have our sound bar up top. Here's our AV compartment here where you would plug in your satellite, your dish, uh, receivers, uh, Bluetooth, or a Blu-ray player. Yeah, Newmar knows a lot of people are working on the road. You got a lot of stuff to plug in, so you have an outlet on both sides of the booth dinette here in case you need to plug in a laptop. Can't think of a better place to work than in an RV at a lake somewhere. That would be awesome. Uh, again, back on this side, you're going to have an outlet on both sides again. And you're going to have five overhead cabinets. Newmar owner's manuals, of course. These cabinets are probably 18 inches deep. There's plenty of room in here to put all your belongings. Uh, 2024 for the Ventana. I uh, got a life cycle change, so we have all new fabrics. All the interior has been redone. All the fabrics are new. Again, we have that overhead bunk and that 380 horsepower versus the 360. In the kitchen, one thing I really want to point out, I'm a little excited about it. You might not be, but I love to air fry. The new convection microwave actually has an air fryer setting now. So you can now air fry. Huge microwave and convection oven. Of course, in here, we're going to have our dual sinks, stainless steel sinks. Mentioned earlier, when it's time for the game and you're prepping, you got your cutting boards here. Get everything ready. Take your induction cooktop outside. Set it under that huge awning. Cook your burgers, your brats, and enjoy your game. We got plenty of storage under here as well. Spot for a small trash can, cleaning supplies. They take advantage of every little spot they can put storage in. Soft closing drawers. Of course, because you're going to be entertaining and cooking outside, you need a dishwasher. 
silverware and remote drawer. You have all your touch-up paints, different items you're going to need. If you purchase from us, when you do your walkthrough, we'll walk you through all of these items. Here's some additional storage. Here's a ton more storage. I actually walked around it. I almost forgot to show this to you guys. Uh, a really nice spot. These are adjustable shelves. Going back to the new interior, the new fabrics, I got to tell you, I really like the design over the slides on the slide rails here. Um, just nice, clean, classy look. Not too busy, in my opinion. So I think it looks really great. Of course, we have our residential refrigerator. It's huge. Make sure you lock it when you're going down the road so all your groceries don't fly out on a turn especially if you drive like I do. Another cool feature now that we have a 35 foot Ventana instead of a 34 or in addition to is now you have a slightly larger shower. As you can see we have the flip down seat and our escape door. Go ahead and show you how to I really like the sink too, by the way. This is a really cool, cool style sink. They moved a lot of the electronics. Actually, your satellite, because of that overhead bunk, there's only room for so much. Put the uh, wine guard traveler system in here for your satellite. Escape door. And you're going to open this up, remove this panel, which is held on by magnets, makes it easy to take off. Literally just let that drop. And now you have an escape. Here on the side of the refrigerator, you're going to have a pantry. We have central vac down here on the bottom. Central vac, and you've got your uh, hose hoses there, so you can hook them up. Really nice pocket door for privacy going into the bedroom. Here we're going to have a king size bed. Nightstand on both sides with power. You can see right here on the wall we got a couple of things here. We're going to have our light controls, our floor heat controls. Um, you can see here we have speakers. We have two speakers, one on each side of the bed so you can turn those on and off as needed. Under the bed, you're going to have storage. And then overhead, you're going to have some cabinets up here with an outlet in the back. And there is a cable pass through there. Let me open up this other one. There you go. So you can see that power outlet in there. You also have two windows, one on each side of the bed, so you can get some fresh air circulating through the coach. One thing you always have to watch out in the coaches is if there's a step, engine access back here, you always want to be careful as you're walking in and out. It takes one time that you miss it, you won't ever do it again. Washer dryer. Newmar also includes with their washer dryers a tray down there just in case a lot of manufacturers do not 
that's important. Here in the back closet, you have a huge spot for your clothes to hang up, nice wardrobe area, and a safe back there. So again, I mentioned they moved some. Normally in some of the other coaches, your, your breakers are gonna be in the bathroom. Here they've moved all that to the back, which I really like. Got your GFCI outlets here, floor heat one and two, your KIB panel, and everything's nice and closed off, hidden back here. Here's your cushion for the dinette when you want to turn that into a bed. On this side, I kind of want to show you this. This is the ladder for the bunk, but look how deep that is right there. So if you have tall items, You like to uh, go golfing and you take care of your golf clubs because they're your babies. That's a good spot to keep them close to you. Make sure they're safe and nobody's messing with them. All right, under here we're going to have, of course, our TV. Two really good sized cabinets, one on each side, obviously. We're going to have two drawers up top. And these are going to be soft closing. On this side, you're going to have another AV compartment here. You can set up your receiver, Blu-ray players. Ton of space. This is also an exit door here, as you can see, or exit window, not door, but exit window. Again, hopefully you never have to use those. You always have that exit door in the, in the bathroom. So. Uh, if anything was to ever happen, that's really your first go-to. A couple things that I want to point out again. This is just a really classy look. Uh, a lot of RVs don't have this. It's just your, your fan. Newmar does a nice job of hiding them, making it look nice and clean. Here you're going to have your touch panel, which is now in the center of the coach. A lot of times it's in the front. Now they put it in the center where it's nice and accessible. Here you can turn your water pump on and off, your tank heat, you can do all of your lights, check your tank levels, your floor heat, your auto gen start, your HVAC. Today's a beautiful, nice and warm day, so we're trying to pull, pull this temperature down a little bit. You can pair this up with your Bluetooth by going to the Connected Solutions app. And again, you can now go through all your lights from here. So if somebody's in the bathroom and you wanna mess with them, you can shut off those lights and get ready to get paid back, I'm sure down the road somewhere, right? Now, we're gonna go ahead and go back up front. Again, I'm 5'11". My daughter says I'm shrinking, but I'm not, I'm really 5'11". I uh, still got room under here. If you're taller, if you're 6'2", you know, you'll have to duck a little bit, but I think it's worth it if you need that additional sleeping space. It's just a really cool option to have. All right, now that we're up front, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up. Couple things to point out here. We got our cup holders up front, which is really nice and kind of hidden out of the way when you're not using them. Uh, right here, you can have some USB ports. You have a USB, and it looks like a USB type C. 12 volt outlet right here. AC and heating right here, your controls. Move it to defrost. All right now it's pretty hot, so we're gonna leave it there. You can have your overhead fans with low, medium, and high, your shade, and your visor. When the sun's shining, getting in your way, just kind of pull down that visor so you can see our generators on right now. Here's your front fan, off, low, medium, or low and high. Uh, your entry lock, and then here's your uh, 360 camera view. Really nice, bigger display now in the Ventana, so you got the nice side-to-side -side monitors. Looks really nice, really clean. Here we can go to camera. 
and then you can se select which view you want. You can see here we can switch to our turn signal cameras and then do our 360 view. Really cool feature. Oh, we're going to have our navigation. Uh, Bluetooth compatible. You can Bluetooth your phone. Go to Sirius XM. You've got, uh, what else do we have here? You can Bluetooth your phone, like I said, Apple CarPlay, all of those fun features. So a lot of nice upgrades. Now we have this cool dash, digital dash. I told you earlier that you have the adaptive cruise. Right now we have it set at a long distance. So that would start applying the brakes when you're, you know, six car lengths, seven car lengths away. You're gonna have your steering wheel controls here so you can adjust that. So if you want to tailgate people, you can set it to one car length. I don't recommend doing that. Here's your steering effort on the dash. So again, this is going to be your comfort drive. So you can set it, you know, however you like to do it. I always prefer it kind of in the middle. RPMs, miles per get or miles per hour, and then here are your two air gauges. As you can see this coach has 3,600 miles on it. Really simple to use. Right side of the steering wheel, you're going to have your phone controls and your cruise control. Over here on the left, we have our heated mirrors, which thank goodness we don't need those anymore over here. Left and right, you're going to have your lights, dome light, and then here is your house and chassis battery merge. So if you leave your lights on for too long and your chassis battery starts going low, merge them together to get you started, and then fire up your generator. Over here on the left side, we're going to have our air horn on and off, our traction control override, and then our EQ leveling system here. Pretty simple to use, just push power when you get where you're going. Once you're parked, hit auto level, let it do its thing, and then turn off the key. Down here on the left side, you've got a nice little map pocket and a cup holder. And you're going to have a USB and an aux cord input right here. Again, overhead bunk, brand new floor plan. Uh, this is available uh, right now. So if you have any questions, uh, you want to have the first bunk model diesel pusher in the Newmar line, give me a call, shoot me a text or an email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. You guys have fun. We'll see you next week and go Nuggets.